is your girl Creole Barbie here with Creole Barbie T V. You can take this time out too. <coughs> Ooh. Excuse me. I'm taking time out right now to get myself ready because I'm gonna go over to my grandma's house and I need to go shopping for some new clothes and guess what? I'm gonna take y'all with me. About the wig that I am wearing, it is a lace wig. It goes ear to ear with a six inch deep lace part, which I have to kind of bring it out because you know it just never what it says it is. Like when I got this wig, it was fucking trashed. Okay, it was trash. Like literally, I was struggling on trying to get it to flow with my head. Like, mm mm, nah. That shit was fucked. I am not going to recommend this wig if you cannot customize your own wig. And what I mean by that, if you just take a wig when you buy it and slap it on your head and call it good, and you're not tweezing, you're not plucking, you're not shaping up no baby hairs, you're not creating no edges, no sideburns, then this wig is not for you. Because this does not come pre-plucked at all. You know, it's thick as fuck. Like, that's how it looks when you first get it. So, if you cannot work with this, do not get it. Don't don't waste your money on your time because I almost just put my all way back on. I was mad. When I saw this wig, I was like, what the fuck did I just put my money on? And then made it so bad, she took my fucking wig off the mannequin and put it straight in the bag. And that's a no for me. Like, I don't want nothing else I've been touching. I what kind of foundation I'm using. I'm using this good stuff right here. This is the Cream Shop. And the color of it is a, what is it? A 36. It looks extremely light when you first get it, but just trust me. I am light brown. And so this goes well with my skin color. So you guys should definitely check this out. The cream shop, it is full coverage. And I hate when I go look for makeup and it says full coverage and it's not full coverage. Like I can still see certain imperfections within my skin. So if I can still see that, then that is not full coverage. So check that out. You know, it gives you a flawless touch, a nice glow. And I'm even gonna show y'all more when I get done with doing my makeup, how this looks, cause I love it. I'm just gonna do my eyebrows. I love this so, so, so much. This is actually by Kiss. It's a waterproof eyebrow pencil. Well, this is the marker part. And then this is the pencil part. But it's really good. Like, I get mine in the color light brown because I'm still battling with trying to get my eyebrows together. Once I do more extended research, I will be getting my eyebrows microbladed. But until then, I'm going to just try to continue to let my eyebrows grow back the way they used to be, get more fuller, and um, yeah. So, this is some good stuff. If you haven't tried it, like, try it. And I just hate using pencil because I still want that natural look with my eyebrows. Like, I'm not wearing makeup low key. Like, I feel like wearing makeup is really time consuming. And sometimes I'll be having time. So, a lot of times, I'll just get up and go. But there are other times where I want to be pretty and look pretty, and I put on makeup. But it is in time because something. It is. And don't be judging me because I'm not like some professional makeup artist to where I just do everything perfect or by the book. I have my own way of doing my makeup that's comfortable for me. So, yeah, so if you guys see me doing things out of the ordinary or don't go with the code, that's because I just do my own thing. Like, that's what I do. I do my own thing. So, yeah, it's going to be all over. So, if you haven't already knew it, know what this is, this is concealer. It's by Kiss. I love this concealer so freaking much because it is full coverage as well and it helps me clean up these brows. I would not be able to have my brows look as nice as I do if I didn't use this as well. So that's one of my tricks and what I use to keep my eyebrows looking 
nice and with a nice appearance, you know. So, yeah. My boyfriend says he doesn't understand why I wear makeup because he thinks I'm pretty without without it. Which I am, but sometimes it's just like, if you want a different type of appearance or look or maintaining a certain kind of image, then that's what you do. And unfortunately, that's what I do. I've been doing it since I was like 16. So, you know, you just can't stop an old habit that quick after you develop it. And I don't even see it as a habit. I just saying keeping yourself up and maintaining a certain kind of image that you want to keep up with. Period. But what makes me mad is bitches. So let me tell y'all about some bitches. Bitches can be so fucking fake. Like, I got this neighbor where she is cool as fuck. Like, I like her a lot. She speaks and, you know, but she hanging around a bunch of fake ass bitches. So, it's this bitch that was walking to her apartment with her. And by this time, I'm outside on the balcony with my boyfriend smoking a cigarette, right? So, we talking, because that's what we do sometimes, sitting back and get talk. But she so happened to be walking in the inside of the house, the friend, and she was focusing on the door at first. Then all of a sudden, she looked up on the balcony, and Lord behold, guess who she sees? She sees Kayla. So, she... Being the messy bitch that she is, because she sees me numerous of times, she would never speak to me. But when you see my nigga, you make eye contact with my nigga, and then you speak. That's the problem. So me being me, bitch, I know you don't speak to me, but because you said something to my nigga, now I'm going to speak back. And so I did, and uh, bitches be so motherfucking gang goofy, like, this is why I don't like a lot of these fucking Kansas City females, like, Bitches, if y'all was anywhere else in the United States, especially from where I'm from, motherfucking Louisiana, you hoes be fucked up because bitches don't play like the old man. Period. Like, you invest too much time with somebody, go through so much shit, sweat, blood, tears, money, all that shit. You don't feel like nobody can just come through your relationship and try to basically shoot your shot in front of you. Like, bitches be having me fucked up. Like, especially if you ain't nobody that look good. What do you think? In your right goddamn mind, you can take my man away from me. And even if you did look good, at the end of the day, if I'm with that person, it's for a goddamn reason. And I know he ain't gonna go nowhere and look at nobody else or pay nobody else over me. But besides the point is that you think, because you think that, that by itself is like deserves a beef with my neighbor at all. But at the end of the day, I'm not game goofy either. I feel like who you hang around is who the fuck you are. So if you hang around a bunch of goofy ass bitches, then maybe you are a goofy bitch yourself. And it's not even a maybe. You are a goofy bitch yourself because I don't mean, hell I'm about to be hanging around a bunch of ratchet ass hoes if I'm not a ratchet ass ho. Don't make sense. You see what I'm saying? You hang around broke people, you're going to be broke. So I don't know. I kind of look at her in a different light now. And maybe because. I really wasn't paying attention at first due to me always being busy and never being at home. But, um, psh, cut it. Like, sis, why the fuck are you but her? Why do you think you can't just find your own man? Why you gotta be looking at everybody else's man? Why? It makes no sense. The fuck? Why? Anyway. I got these lashes I'm going to be putting on. These are 3D IMB lashes. And they are, this is the model number. Because I don't even feel like doing all that reading. But I just fucked with 3D lashes and 3D meat lashes. My favorite is 3D meat lashes. But them bitches be too fucking high. So I'll be on the budget. So I'm going to just go with these. And let y'all see how it looks. I have the makeup in check. I will see y'all when I get ready to go out to the store. And go shopping for myself because I need some new clothes for my new job. And this, this is just my my look, you know, I'm going with. Because, like I said, I'm not a guard no more. I'm at the post office, so I got to be presentable.
Go home. You gotta hop. Fight it out. You've been fighting out, little. So I'm at my grandma's house right now, mm -hmm. just chilling, she ain't gonna watching play. the game. He just, he's just been a pretty relaxing day, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. I want to see my little kid picture, I want to show you something when I was a kid, I'll show you my picture.